Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this video, I'm going to compare the OnePlus North device versus Poco F5 device. So which phone is really the best option to buy? So I'm getting so many comments friends on this uh, comparison between these both phones. And in this video, I'm going to discuss a few details like which phone is really the best option to buy at this moment. And right now, there's a sale going on in the Flipkart website and where the Poco F5 you can actually buy for about 25,999 or so 26,000 rupees for the Poco F5. And in the sale, the OnePlus Nord 3 gonna get a sale for about 33,000 or maybe 32,000 as well after using the bank offers. So it's kind of close to six to 7,000 differences there between this both price. And for that price, is it worth to invest on the OnePlus Nord 3 or should you go for the Poco F5 device? So that's what I'm going to discuss in this video. So first thing, let's compare with the performance wise or even the performance the snapdragon sound plus gen 2 versus damage in 9000 processor so in terms of the performance wise both phones are really pretty good but in recording the benchmarks it's kind of pretty close recording the benchmark wise and overall the most of the games are actually supported with the 90 fps between these two phones so no issues with the 90 fps you should not be worried about that and higher in graphic settings are actually supported between these both devices pretty good and regarding the experience while using the device i did not have any kind of problems while using the both phones as well so day-to-day -day experience is pretty smooth and regarding the heating issues i did not notice much in the dimension 9000 processor especially so uh, i did not see any kind of huge difference so this is a quick comparison guys even the performance wise both phones are kind of pretty equal close to close performance neck to neck that's what i can actually conclude and next thing is regarding the display segment so in terms of the display segment uh, both phones are really excellent uh, displays they do have 120 hertz and 1.5k resolution and slightly kind of 12 bit uh, panel oled panel which is present in the poco f5 but regarding the color saturation levels and accuracy levels both phones are really excellent so regarding the display also i cannot like comment much which is the best one because the bezels are also both phones are having pretty slim bezels as you can see friends very slim bezels both phones are having excellent so no issues regarding that display so processor and the display segment uh, i may not be able to like declare like this phone is really the best one and this phone is really the best one because both phones they do have really pretty good uh, performance segment and display wise also both are kind of pretty equal and next thing is regarding the battery backup and the charging speed so the battery backup and the charging speed the oneplus nord 3 5000 mh of battery and 5000 mh of battery in the poco f5 both are pretty good and decent enough and charging speed 67 watts versus 87 watts so charging speed slightly kind of better in the oneplus nord 3 which takes less than 30 minutes to charge completely in my uh, testing that's what i did find regarding the charging speed in the oneplus nord 3 device so next apart from that even the charging speed on the poco f5 is also pretty good dc enough, but slightly more than the oneplus nord 3 and screen on time wise both phones are getting screen on time around six to six and a half hours of screen on time so no issues with the screen on time between this both uh, devices regarding the battery backup and the charging and next thing the area where i did feel slightly better in the oneplus nord 3 is regarding the camera segment so in terms of the camera segment slightly kind of oneplus nord 3 feels a little bit kind of better so regarding the camera so uh, the camera in the OnePlus Nord 3, which has been taken from the OnePlus 11 device, so which is a premium experience camera you're gonna get for this kind of uh, 30,000 rupees. That's something uh, which you should know. And let me show the 4K recording maximum how much you can record. So 4K 30 FPS is a maximum in the Poco F5 device, but 4K 60 FPS is a maximum in this uh, OnePlus Nord 3 device. That's something you should know regarding the overall uh, maximum FPS recording. And regarding the stabilization, the OnePlus Nord 3 feels slightly kind of better stabilization when compared with the Poco F5 device. So just a little bit kind of better. Even the front cam shots, you can see friends, slightly kind of uh, wide in the OnePlus Nord 3 when comparing with the Poco F5 device. And slightly kind of oversaturated, I do get sometimes. And uh, this is kind of close to exact subject color I'm getting. Even it comes to the T-shirt color, you can see slightly kind of washed out colors I'm getting in the Poco F5 device in terms of the front camera shots. So this is a quick comparison guys regarding the camera overall. Camera wise also the OnePlus Nord 3 feels slightly kind of better when compared with the Poco F5 device. And next thing is regarding the build quality. Both phones has got advantages. And for example, 3.5mm jack in the Poco F5, that's very good advantage. So even though the phone is pretty slim, but still they managed for the 3.5mm jack. And higher blast is also there. Higher blast is also there in the OnePlus Nord 3. And we do have the alert slider, so which is kind of uh, pretty good in the OnePlus Nord 3 device. Overall, the aptic feedback slightly feels better in the OnePlus Nord 3 when comparing with the Poco F5 device. That's something which I did notice in this OnePlus Nord 3 device. So that's it guys, it's a quick comparison guys between these both phones and finally, is it worth to invest more money on the OnePlus Nord 3? So there are a couple of reasons why 
first thing is like more you know you're gonna get three major os updates in the one place not three that's another thing uh and next thing is regarding the poco phones regarding the motherboard issue problems which a uh, couple of users are actually uh, scared to buy the device so if you're that kind of person who is actually thinking of worrying about that motherboard issues then definitely you can go for the one plus north device so meanwhile uh, signing off friends thank you for watching until instead of more updates and bye